Hi, so welcome to this series of biomechanics releases and exercises for you to help with all things cycling. So today we're going to be looking at shoulders. I'm going to show you a screen for shoulder functionality and then I'm going to show you a release and, and then whether or not there's any improvement after we've done those. So first thing I'm going to chip you to do is to lie down for me. So if you lie flat and then just pop your hands on your hips both hands, uh, flat palms, super. So what I'm gonna do first of all is just to check for uh, Chippy's shoulder functionality. So I'm just gonna place my fingers underneath his shoulders uh, to see if my hand actually touches his shoulder blade at this point here. So there's about just over a finger's worth of gap on that side. And the left hand side, there's a about one and a half to two fingers worth of gap. So this exercise, this release can be done either lying down or seated. So uh, I'm gonna get Chippy to show you how to do the release lying down and then we'll just demo very quickly how you can do this uh, sitting at your desk, anywhere seated in fact. So what I'd like you to do is to bring your hand across, keep your head down, and I would like you to push your shoulder in an upwards direction into your hand as hard as you can. Okay, and release. That's a 100% effort. So what we're looking for, if you've seen some of the other release videos, you'll, you'll kind of know the score here. So we're looking for a 20% resistance or 20% pressure in an upwards direction. We're looking for an upwards direction, not pushing down with your hand, you're resisting that pressure from the shoulder upwards into the hand. So half that amount and release. So that's 50% and then half that amount again. And Chibi's gonna hold that for 20 seconds for me. So it's a 20% pressure for 20 seconds. And just tell me when you've done that. And he's gonna do that for four times. So once you've released that off, you're gonna do that pressure again and four times. shoulder you want to start with the shoulder rotated as far back as it will go before you actually start and then pushing forwards 20% pressure into the hands so that's four reps on each side and now I'm just going to re-screen to see if there's any improvement just after one round of those set of exercises to see if those pec minor muscles have released off okay so straight away my hand's gone in and it's touching uh, the shoulder on the right hand side so that's a great improvement and likewise on the left so the left I believe was more slightly more on the left so there's a bigger improvement on the left hand side so that's now released off the other exercise I'm going to show you is for your um, upper trapezius so they're the muscles that go from the top of the neck and then across into the shoulder and then into your down towards your lower back so if you get any tension in your uh, shoulders, you know, kind of you do this when you, you're under any pressure, especially when you're on the bike actually. So this is a really good release for the uh, upper trapezius. So what I'm gonna get you to do is to put your hands under a chair and then all you're going to do is you're gonna pull up as hard as you can and that's 100%. So you feel that in your shoulders and release that off. So what I want you to do is try and find that 20% pressure. So all you're doing is pulling up Again, you might not feel anything, or you might feel it straight away. You might not feel anything in this area, but you're just applying pressure in opposite direction into the upper shoulders. So when should you do these exercises? In terms of, well, I do them every day. I do, uh, certainly do the four sign and I do my um, pec minor releases. And again, if you wanna know why that's a really clever combination, head on over to the intro vid. Um, so definitely in the morning and in the evening, 
or whenever you're seated, you can't overdo those exercises. You're not doing a really deep stretch. Um, also, most importantly, before you do any workout, any exercise, and then straight afterwards, just make it part of your warm up and your cool down routine. And I hope you find those helpful. And thanks very much for watching today.